Welcome to Weekly Trends on Equals Blog, where we dish out to you the juiciest, the oldest, and the most trending stories from the week, from governance to politics to business to entertainment and lifestyle. We bring you all these new stories for your personal consumption here yeah, on Equals Blog. And my name is Joshua Yonede. Here are our top stories for the week. INEC hacks courts to disregard OB's petition against Tinubu. The Independent National Electoral Commissioners asked the Election Petition Tribunal to disregard the case of Labour Party's presidential candidate Peter OB against the election of Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress (APC). The case, which was, you know, filed by Peter OB, talks about the fact that. The vice presidential candidate of the APC in the person of Kashim Shetima was not uh, legal for him to be a part of the election, as well as the fact that the accused INEC of not following his own rules during the election itself. Also, they talked about the fact that the election was marred by lots of rigging and violence. Therefore, the tribunal should not let the old election pass. Instead, it should cancel the old elections as well as declare the, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the person of Peter Obi, the president of the nation and the winner of the just concluded general elections. However, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, have said that all are false and it lacks competence. Therefore, it should be disregarded and also INEC has said that the candidate of the APC, the person of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is the rightful winner of the presidential elections and not Peter Obi, who INEC claims did not even meet up with the requirements of the constitution that is in winning 25% of 25 states in the just concluded elections. Tinubu has been named among Times Magazine's 100 most influential people in the world. Now, according to Times Magazine, which is a very foremost magazine across magazines in the world, it says that the annual list of the 100 most influential people in the world accords recognition to people for changing the world regardless of the consequences of their actions. Now, influence is hard to measure. And what we look for is people whose ideas, whose example, whose talent, whose discoveries transform the world we live in. Influence is less about the hard power of force than the soft power of ideas and examples. And this is according to Richard Sengal, who happens to be the former editor of Times and he was quoted to have made this statement. Now, this has met with lots of backlash in social media as well as many kind of comments talking about the obedience and the fellow Baptists or battalions out there talking about many of them not really agreeing with Times Magazine. Some agree with Times Magazine. Many petitions have been written, many letters to as well as many on social media. But then, we can't take that away. Times Magazine has put Bola Metinubu as one of the 100 most influential person in the world. Well quite the serving for a personality who is the president-elect of the most populated country in Africa. We are not aware of any apology over obese detention by the United Kingdom Immigration Labour Party. Now, the Labour Party has claimed that they are not aware of any form of apology letter that has been dished out to them by the United Kingdom Immigration Authorities having them arrested and interrogated their presidential aspirant in the person of Peter Obi over a case of impersonation and suspected fraud recently at the Ethro Airport in the United Kingdom. According to a news outlet recently, they claimed that Peter Obi had been sent an apology letter by the United Kingdom for the inconveniences they might have caused him during this particular period. But then, the Labour Party claims that they have not gotten this information and they are not aware of any form of apology by the United Kingdom. Now, if you could recall that on Wednesday, stories flew out where the Labour Party said that Peter Obi had been arrested 
and interrogated at the Ethro Airport in the United Kingdom after suspicions of impersonations and some kind of fraudulent cases in the United Kingdom, especially at the Ethro Airport. And ever since then, it has caused some kind of stir on the social media. As many claims it is political, some claims that maybe it was involved in one thing or the other. We are yet to find out what the actual thing is. But then the Labour Party says, so far so good, they have not gotten any form of apology letters from the United Kingdoms over the arrest of Peter Obi. So definitely they cannot say anything about that due to the fact that they are not yet aware of it. So it's left to see whether the media outlet that brought up the story of Peter Obi being sent an apology letter is right or wrong. We'll bring it to you as we give you more update on a quote block. The Lagos State Ministry of Environment and Water Resources has awarded Ekwe local government as well as Eredo local council development areas as the local council areas with the cleanest record so far in Lagos State. The LGA received the coveted award on Thursday during the 2022 Environmental Sanitation Assessment Program at the Adeyemi Bureau of State Secretariat in Alausa. Now, the cleanest LGA award was divided into three categories, including urban, suburban, and metropolitan. While Equa LGA backed the award for the urban category, Eraldo LCDA, also of Equa Division, won the award for the suburban category. Similarly, Yaba Local Council Development Area won the cleanest LG in Lagos for the metropolitan category. Well, good news for all in Equa at the moment. You are very clean, and cleanness actually pays. Shegwa Deino, a member of the Georgia House of Representatives from Georgia's 110th District, U.S.'s Eld Right Honorable Adeyemi Kufuriji, a former Speaker of Lagos State House of Assembly for inspiring leadership. Last week, Kufuriji led a delegation of Nigerians to witness the closing of the Georgia Assembly session in Atlanta, Georgia. Recall that in November 2022, five Nigerians, including Adeino Gab Okoye, Solomon Adesoya, Tish Nageshe, who is of blessed memory as he died in the month of March, and Phil Olaleye were elected into the Georgia General Assembly for the first time in history. Now, during the visit to Georgia General Assembly, Right Honorable Ikuforiji met the new Speaker of the Georgia House of Assembly in the person of Speaker John Bonds, who was pleased to meet with the Nigerian delegation. Adeino welcomed the Kufuriji led delegation to the assembly, could not hide his excitement at the sight of his countrymen. Now, the lawmaker lauded the former Lagos speaker, saying, Nigerians in elected offices in the U.S. are following your footsteps. It is my deepest joy to see my people from home in Nigeria checking up on us here, especially Right Honorable Ikuforiji, he said. Now, one of the things he also said is that we are following your footsteps here. Remember, you are a four-star general as a parliamentarian. Ikuforiji appreciated the fact that Adeino and his other Nigerian colleagues are not only active in the United States politics, but also getting elected into elective positions. Well, this is a big win for the Nigerian society totally, as we are also making impacts in the world. Isale Eko Union threatens lawsuit over a your masquerade depiction in gangs of Lagos. Now, this is one of the most topical stories in Nigeria at the moment. Lagos Indigenous Order, the species of Isale Eko Descendants Union, IDU, have threatened to take legal action against the production of Gangs of Lagos, a new blockbusting action movie directed by Jade Oshiberu and produced by Kevin Lala Akindoju, Gang of Lagos was released on Amazon's Prime Video on April 7th. I didn't use the branding of the Ayo Masquerade in the film has brought the culture and tradition of the people to disrepute. The union also called on the National Film and Censors Board, NFCVB, to withdraw the approval granted to the movie. 
In addition, Vector the rapper has condemned the, and the portrayal of the Ayo masquerade as a murderous criminality in Gangs of Lagos. He shared a video via his Instagram page wherein he educated the people on the culture and tradition of the Ayo festival. The rapper, born on Larewaju Ogumefo, described the film as disrespectful for referring to Ayo as a gang. I was born at Onikon Health Center, Lafiaji, Lagos Island, he said. All I have seen during the Ayo festival, every time they are out, is they stop by at our house and pray and wish our family prosperity. Most of my family friends, like the Olubanis, are direct Ayo Ologade gatekeepers and not gun shooting criminals using culture as a disguise. As teenagers, I have had friends chase me with the staff or palm batter because I knew they would take advantage of me and show me shaggy. <laughs> My idea of what the Bajulaye is is totally different from murderous criminality. Going by what the term gang means, it is disrespectful to define the Ayo as in a gang, especially putting it in the same light of a gang. Furthermore, a co arts blog publisher, Otumba T.J. Abbas, calls for the discontinuing of the film as well, claiming that it is denigrating Lagos. They are gangsters of Lagos haters, he said. Finally, hearty congratulations to the Commissioner of Police, Tunje Disu, the pride of Lagos State and the Equity Division, on his promotion to the position of the Commissioner of Police. The Commissioner, who was still March 28, 2023, head of the Intelligence Response Team, was welcomed amidst fanfare by colleagues and junior officers on his first official day as the Commissioner of Police, having been certified by the Police Service Commission. We at Equals Block congratulate you, Commissioner of Police Tunji Desu, on this achievement and we hope that greater heights are going to be attained as you sojourn into the upper echelons of the police force in Nigeria. Our prayers are for you, Tunji Desu, and we also pray that you continue to rise higher in this your chosen career. And that is all we have for you today on Weekly Trends. And yes, in case you want more updates, you have to do two very important things. First, you have to follow us on all our social media platforms here on Equals Blog. It's directly on your screens. And you must also do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you can do that, then definitely you can do the second thing, which is very important. Ensure you join us next time, same place, same time on this particular program called The Weekly Trends, where we give you the artists, the juiciest, and the biggest stories for the week. Till we meet next time, my name is Joshua Yonede. Peace. <laughs>